Sasa mtu anaweza kuja kuambia meme of a drug usije ni kama ni peremende but actually they are talking about a drug. Hello, hello. Uh, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good evening depending on where you are watching me from. Sharon Obaraka here and I am here on another talk. One of the real talks that I do. And um uh, before I get started again I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to my YouTube channel everybody that has been following me everybody that has been encouraging me I am really really encouraged by all your support and I say thank you so I just wanted to talk to you about something well I'm on my way that uh, that I started the other day and this is a talk about children and raising our children i'm very passionate about children because that's um, what i do as a as a career i predominantly work with children i speak with them a lot children and young person and they tell me so many things that maybe you as parents they would not have had the opportunity to speak to you about and it is important we engage in this topic as parents so that we can know how to support our children understand them and we move forward all right so i'm back guys oh my god it's so hot today today is like the hottest day here we like 30 degrees so i'm really uh, boiling i'm really hot but i'm not complaining i'm enjoying you know we don't get a lot of these hot days that much so when you get one of them enjoy to the fullest and that drive was a nice drive i know i promise that i'm going to come and uh, speak to you about that topic of kids but meanwhile let me just say how weird it felt driving today it felt like salu made a holiday Okirudi and you you start feeling like you know you're learning to drive all over again that's how it felt driving out today and i guess it's because i haven't been out think uh, for about three weeks i've just been working indoors or in in the house so it was nice and i'm, and I'm glad that i got the opportunity to go out for a drive and and really catch up because lockdown in Mianza Kukua is anyway the reason why i am here is as i had promised to come and speak to you about um, us that are raising our kids, African parents that are raising our kids in the current generation or in the current climate. Um, and I just want to address one of the things that I have picked up. You know, we are told that every day we learn something new and you can learn from anybody. You can learn from your kids, you can learn from the younger generation. And myself, I have actually learned a lot from the younger generation. You can just blush them and say, ah, our new Watoto, who are they to come and tell us? And that's a very wrong attitude. If you adapt that as a parent, then it's a very wrong attitude. Me, a lot of things, at easy stories are, you know, the drugs that they take, I've learned from them, not that I've ever taken. Like me, they know the, the language that they, their kids of their age use. So I'm talking about a name of a drug, but actually they're talking about a drug, you know. So it is very important that you stay close to your children because it is them that are going to educate you and it is them that are going to tell you if you become approachable or if you make yourself approachable to them. Okay, Jifanya, to you, you're too harsh. You, you're the, all the time, you're the one who's commanding and giving orders and making rules and making them feel scared about you. They'll never open up to you. So one of the things that um, I have learned from the younger generation, and I would like to share this with African parents, is that they keep saying we don't listen to them at Wasikilizangi. And they say that because they can spend, even me myself, by the way, there's a time I've been accused by my own children. They can sit there and they're talking, 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 and then Akul is a key to you be like, eh? So they catch you like that and Akul is like, so all this time I've been talking to you for five minutes and you were not even listening. And that really, really makes them feel angry or feel like um, you're not showing any interest to them. And it, it starts making them to pull away from you. So number one thing is listen to your children 
pay attention to what they're telling you. They might have an important message. If you're not attentive, if you're not listening, you're going to look to, to miss that message. Alafu wa wacha ni kuambie, awa wakienda ni kuenda, awa, they don't know how to repeat. They say it once, but they don't repeat it. So if you miss that message at that time, you may never hear that message again. And one of the other things um, they have picked up, especially those are being raised by African parents, ni ati, we just like commanding and we don't like to listen to them when they have an explanation of the reason why they are doing whatever it is that they are doing. You know, for example, anaza ku, unaza kuambia mtoto kitu, anakuuliza why? Aki kuuliza why? Usi mgoromoke, urajulia why ni odo wake? Urajulia why kwa nini? I told you to do this, 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 this. No, 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 no. You need to listen and explain, explain the reason why I have told you to do that and then give your reasons. But you ni command at you you're not there to explain to them. That's what makes them pull away from you. And you know, even especially while wana wame somiapa, you're going to agree with me. There's something that's called analysis. When a child is asking you why, they've analyzed already in their mind. And maybe they're thinking, should I really be doing that? You know, so I need to ask, I need to, to get further evidence from the person that has given me this task which is my parent to find out why are they asking me to do that so you as a parent then it is your duty it is your responsibility to explain why you have told them to do that usianza kwanza kufight na mtoto and that is where you're losing your children and when you start losing them what is happening is they are going to seek advice from other people and you never know they may end up in the wrong hands getting advice from the wrong hands this world is full of people that are not up to no good so be the number one friend for your children be the number one person that is going to guide them if they come and tell you something about their friend is doing a b c d things that are not obviously agreeable be the one that is going to be the first one to guide your child and tell them don't call a person who has that and that you know negative characters as your friend be the one to guide them if they start finding that as funny you know show them it's not funny this is actually very serious this is how you end up getting pulled with um, people that are going to maybe lead you to trouble when you yourself are not even a troublemaker you just find yourself in the wrong category and you know when it comes to the law if you're found with a gang of other people that are not doing the right thing you're also going to be part of that gang you're also going to be incriminated for something that maybe you didn't even have a clue you were just there so get, get to know who their friends are get to know who it is that they're moving with and the only way you can do that is by listening to them and by paying attention to what they're telling you. The other thing is, we as African parents, we were brought up with this culture of watoto, they are there to be seen, not to be heard. Let us move away from that doctrine, those were the, the gone days, and let us adapt to a culture where our children are there to be heard, okay? and make yourself again a, a, a parent that is present there's no way you're going to be able to know anything about your children if you are an absent parent you have to be a present parent and you have to be willing to work with your child if you want to get to know them and know them better you have to be present all the time get to to find out what did you do in school who is your friend what is making you struggle is there anything that you're worried about you know those um, kind of questions and they'll get to to tell you if you just assume everything is okay sometimes everything is not okay and that's why you're finding our kids they're locking themselves up because number one you're not making yourself open to any discussions so they, they can't come and talk to you if you're always busy or maybe you're making yourself look like you're always busy they're going to find it really really difficult to approach you and tell you anything so make yourself available and make yourself approachable okay and that way you'll be able to safeguard your children better your children are not going to end up in the wrong hands they're not going to end up in the wrong hands of the law if you keep talking to them constantly and finding out how they're doing what they're doing what is worrying them you're going to be their number one friend you know me for me i've learned a lot from the youth and even though i'm uh, obviously much older 
a lot of the things because they are the ones that are living in these current times. They are the ones who know what is happening in these modern times. The best way to learn what is happening, talk to your children and you will know exactly what is going on. You don't even need to go to the news. They know it all and they will teach you. You can learn from them. You can learn from anybody. You can learn from the older people and you can equally learn from the younger generation. So that's it for today. Again, thank you to everybody that has been following me, everybody that has subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you don't want to miss any time I upload a video, go on to YouTube, Apochini, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you very much and Baraka.